One of the most requested features by teachers is the ability to annotate content outside of Annotate. We are delighted to share this is now possible with the Annotate Web Annotations extension for Google Chrome. You can access the Annotate Web Annotations and screen sharing extension from the Downloads page. Alternatively, you can also do a search on the Chrome Web Store. Click Add to Chrome and then click Add Extension to add that extension. We do recommend restarting Google Chrome after installing the extension so that it does initialize correctly. You must be logged into your Annotate account to use the extension. Click the Annotate icon on the browser toolbar and click Sign In to quickly go to the login page and log in to your account. Click the Annotate icon again and set the Annotation switch on to access the Annotations toolbar. Please note that the Annotations toolbar is disabled on the Annotate website. Switch to a different browser tab and the Annotations toolbar should now be visible. You'll have the ability here to annotate web pages in several different ways. You can use the pen and highlighter tools to annotate web page content. and the eraser tool to delete annotations. Use the laser pointer tool to highlight areas and draw attention. The text highlighter tool is useful for highlighting blocks of text. Click the text highlighter tool and then drag to select the text you would like to highlight. Click any of the colors in the quick access toolbar to highlight text. To remove, tap the highlighted content and click the trash icon. Now, one of the great things with the Annotate Web Annotations extension is that annotations are anchored in place as you scroll. So you'll have the flexibility of moving down a long page and then coming back without the fear of your annotations getting out of sync. And if you're annotating within a screen sharing session, your annotations will also be streamed to student devices in real time. Click Show Hide Annotations to quickly hide annotations or bring them back into view. When you're done annotating, click Close to hide the Annotations Toolbar and all annotations. The Annotations Toolbar is also helpful for taking screen captures and inserting them directly in a notebook. This allows you to preserve any work you're doing so you and your students can access it later and annotate for future reference. Simply open a notebook and then navigate to a web page from where you would like to capture content. Click the camera icon and then drag to set the capture area. Use the fill handles to edit the capture area and drag to position it correctly. Click the camera icon to take a capture and embed it directly into your notebook. You'll also have the ability to embed images from web searches or Wikipedia pages directly into your notebook. Right-click on an image and select Add to Notebook. The Annotate Web Annotations extension opens up new ways by which you and your students can interact with content that is outside of Annotate. We'll continue to improve this feature based on the feedback you provide, so please share how you're using it with your students and how we may be able to help you do more with it.